out, this is Edison joining you with another video Quick tips here for you, for the kick drum This is kinda like how to get a little bit more snap and energy Get the heavier kick drum that fits the mix, kinda like This is just one idea and there is actually a couple of ideas I'm sharing here I quickly made this example for you Let's hear it, now it's kinda like feeling to me it fits the mix And well mix, I made this <laughs> in 5 minutes this idea Let's hear it It's a very simple thing, but actually I'm doing many things here. If we isolate the kick drum from the overall and take the plugins away, we need to also mute these tracks because I didn't push them on any tracks. Just the kick drum sounds like this. Doesn't it feel kind of boring to you? Doesn't it feel? Yeah, there is very important detail. I didn't add any equalization. Normally I start with equalization. It could be something like I would be boosting something like maybe 60, maybe 90 Cutting here for the bass Cutting here for any other elements Maybe if I need snap I add here a little bit push here And I even sometimes in pop music If you listen to like some pop music there might be Kick drums like this Just to get the vocal space to shine Shine through it Sometimes in rock music they like to push it 90 Hz but in EDM we, we tend to go lower, even 50 sometimes. It depends on the kick drum very much. You can even look the frequency of the key of the kick and now push that frequency. You can, you can push that frequency, yeah. Something like this, this is just ideas. Where it sounds the best, follow your ears. The first technique I'm using here is uh, New York compression, aka parallel compression. And I'm using this FET compressor. This is very important what I'm sharing here. Because normally, this is very important detail. Normally I used very fast release to add very much snappiness to it. Because in this case, we're using a little bit slower attack. It lets the transient come through. Almost completely, we could say. It's to the taste, you know, this kind of thing. 10 to 1 ratio about. About like that. This is very... Detailed knob. Then at the release, I was using slow this time. So it holds on to it. It's compressing everything. This is very aggressive style. We trust the kick drum now. We don't want to make it any tighter. We trust to, trust on it. This is the transient. How much transient we want through. And then we trust the tail of the kick drum. If we don't trust it, we can even cut it a little bit or blend it a little bit out. Like do some some kind of automation to the kick drum, you know. We don't trust the tail, you know. We do something like we can do even something like this, make it tight like this. And then then what you're gonna do, you're gonna just take this. And like that, just like that, you add it on every step. It's, it's very easy to drive. You, you take it like this and then blah, 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 blah. Today we are gonna trust the tail of the kick drum very much. That's why I'm putting the release here. And th this time it made me feel like, okay, now it, it feels right. You know, this kind of thing I was thinking. And low cut is also important. It doesn't use the low rumble to compress it. Yeah, it, it cleans it. The compression is cleaner and tighter. Very, very important knob. Use your ears using that. With a little bit of controlling here, pushing it here in on the input, but controlling here on the output. Very simple thing to do. It's decently aggressive. Let's hear it with it and without it. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. It adds to it, but it little bit feels like it's not glued together. And this is where, in the bus, there is Kashmir essentials. It's kind of like gluing it together, let's think it like that. We could use anything here, really, even tape saturation if we want. Yeah, this is free plugin. Kashmir Essentials, this kick version of it is, I think it's still free. You can do download it from WA Productions. If you want to support me and my channel, 
you can even use my link to get benefits you will get some uh, percentages off of the purchase you do there and it would help the channel if you use that link to buy some if you're buying something if you're interested to maybe getting this plugin this is very good <laughs> i'm not so much endorsing it but i just shout out it because it is a good plugin you hear it in the action now this is, i'm not doing these videos to sell this i'm doing well already in the business so understand that but it is a good tool and i can give you discount because i just happen to have this affiliate you know I don't know why I have to explain myself with people. I often feel the urge, like there is the necessity, the obligation of I, I have to like explain myself. I don't know why it's like, there is so much judgment in the world. I don't know why. I hope everybody try to make them happy and stay positive. So then this kind of problems doesn't happen in the world. But yeah, just peace. Let's move on with the video. You need to know the key of the kick drum. You need to understand the key of the kick drum. I'm using F here, adding the sub. Yeah, let's hear it. It's making it heavier sounding. Yeah, adding the sub, it sounds like that, adding the low end. It could be kind of rumbly with the bass. So if you have heavy bass, be careful with that. Because if you want really much low end with your bass instrument, then you maybe want this tighter kick without it, almost like. Yeah, that's the idea. Then we're pushing the transients again, the snappiness of it. Just a bit, you know. Then the pressure, this is my favorite, when you want to have really aggressive kick drums. You can even clip it here, at compression, maybe a little bit, clip it here, let's hear it. You, you, you can do really anything. This, this is the, for the controlling, I'm thinking. This is always how, how I've thought it. Here you can control it, you know. And then you can clip it a little bit here. It's a clipper, like heavy limiter, kind of like. Very aggressive kind of limiter. Some people even use clippers in the master, master chain. Yeah, there is a FL Studio clipper also, which you can use. We can go mono if we want here. It's actually just a mid signal. I'm sorry. So if I want to go mono, I go here, push it to the right. It's a tighter sound, you know, it's kind of like combining everything. But sometimes you want a little bit more stereo kick. You can see there is some stereo signal. Uh, this is a little maybe unconventional, I wouldn't normally do this. Uh, adding the equalization right at the end. Without it. Making it rounder sound. You could go more detailed, you could a little bit more tweak it to make it sound a little bit better. But this is, this is how I felt it feels right at this moment. It's point and time maybe sometimes you want to use the equalization before any compressing processing because you almost want it to react to the sound you already perfected i think that's more perfect approach it's really any order you use can work and every order makes different sound if i now use it, this it's gonna kind of ruin it let's hear it Because I'm doing things with the purpose. Then it sounds better the way I did it, you know. That's important. You don't do too much. Sometimes less is more, you know. Okay, that was my example. Quick example, just talking about the kick drum and how could you make it a little bit bigger. Tape saturation is an idea here also. Kick in your face. You 
you also have the tape saturation built in the Casimir. That's uh, that's kind of rubbish to me. I never used it really. Approaches the lo-fi fuck sound maybe. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe got something from it. There is pretty lazy kicks these days, so I, I thought this would help you a little bit to get a little bit better sound from the kick. Maybe maybe you want to push it a little bit more. This will help you in this regard. Thank you for watching. Peace. Ah.